So for the start, as a small introduction, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for joining us for this short conversation on design uh, in occasion of Italian Design Day. And I'd like to thank Zoran Jedrecic who connected two of us. Um, I, I saw on your website that uh, kind of your motto is uh, we design for better days. And that was the title of your exhibition in China five years ago. And I think that motto now is more actual than, than ever, more, more, than ever. more appropriate, yeah. yeah. So you are designing for the better days. How would you describe that? Uh, it's supposed to be our uh, task to design for uh, better days, you know, because uh, when I was a student, uh, I was actually, I uh, studied architecture. I was dreaming about uh, a wonderful uh, cities, uh, skyscrapers and so on. But uh, I realized that we have to build a better future day by day, you know? So uh, even with the uh, humble pieces, humble objects, uh, everyday use, we can uh, change uh, our environment, you know? So I started with a little spoon, a little fork and spoon, and uh, probably uh, the skyscraper uh, is, is yet to come, but the, the aim is always to work for a, a better living, you know? Yeah. So this is my task. We, we try to do this. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, uh, what do you think? How design will change in times of uh, COVID-19? Uh, you know, we have to work uh, harder than before and maybe listen uh, more than uh, before. So listen and see what is the change uh, of our uh, day life. And we as a designer, we, we are in charge to, to change this uh, attitude to life. And I don't know, I actually, I don't have any solution course, uh, but we are trying to find new ways uh, uh, to explore the future. So this is the task of designers. We have to build our future. Um, um, you know, COVID uh, is uh, it's, uh, really, some, someone say it's a, a good chance uh, to change uh, uh, our life. So we have to, to agree with this, otherwise we are lost. Do you really believe that life will be better? You know, that we'll be entering some new world just like that? I hope better, uh, uh, of course, different. Uh, in this period, uh, uh, we had the chance to uh, think about uh, our day life, uh, our uh, attitude to the future. And I think that we had the time to to build our uh, new life or try to do this. So time uh, is an, a really good ingredient in this period. We focus on uh, many little details uh, we used to uh, uh, don't see uh, in the past because we are always running and catching some uh, words, uh, works uh, and so on. But in this period, uh, we are more calm uh, and we can find a way to, to, to think what is uh, the real uh, necessity of human being. Probably not a new chair. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, how, how much uh, does Italian design heritage helps you in this? How much are you inspiring in your work with very rich uh, heritage? Of course, you know, being Italian, it's a really good uh, uh, honor, a big honor for us, uh, because we have uh, this allure of uh, uh, people that uh, focus on uh, details, uh, on the well, well being, uh, arts, uh, and so on, history. Uh, I have the chance to work with many companies uh, that uh, have. Uh, an heritage. Heritage means uh, uh, values, not just uh, history. Because, uh, you know, we work with companies uh, that uh, have uh, 2,000 years of history. 
but in our, uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, we can have, uh, I don't know the name in English, uh, uh, this uh, kind of uh, elastic band uh, okay. can uh, throw uh, stones uh, and so on. So as long as the, the elastic band, uh, as far you can go ahead. So we can run uh, uh, a little bit more uh, fast, faster than others when we see what's uh, in, in the past. But of course, we don't have to look back. We have to look ahead. I mean, the world is now globalized and it's globalizing more every day. Is there an Italian design today? Can you define it? Or we are working in an international environment and some national characteristics of designs are gone, like Scandinavian design, Japanese design, French design. Does it exist anymore? Uh, exist by the passport. But uh, to me, uh, it's better to define a good design and uh, uh, not good design uh, instead of uh, Japanese, Italian, and so on. Because uh, as you know, we are working in a global market. So Italian designers can work with uh, foreign companies and also the vice versa. So uh, to me, of course, I, I can agree uh, with some people that say that, uh, okay, Italian design is really well known uh, all over the world, uh, but it's not just design, it's the Italian attitude that is um, the, the solution to me, or the, not just the solution, but the, the, the focal point of our, uh, uh, our history, our identity as a Italian designers and companies, of course. How would you describe that Italian attitude? What's so specific and how does it emerge? Is it part of mentality or uh, nature? Or... You know, we, we as Italians, uh, we are used to uh, find solutions because we are not so, uh, we are clever and uh, in many different fields, uh, but not just uh, focus on, on one uh, specific sector. Uh, so we are good uh, in food, uh, we are good uh, in uh, fashion, most, uh, uh, mostly in, uh, in design, and we love uh, uh, life. The, uh, this is, to me, our uh, uh, goal, our uh, strength. So we like to uh, involve our day life in every different aspects. And uh, compared to um, different cultures, probably, we are used to be surrounded by uh, beauty. And, uh, and someone say that beauty, beauty can save the world. And I don't know if it will, but uh, it, it can help, you know. So, um, I don't know. This is my point of view. Do, do you have a favorite uh, items from uh, Italian design heritage? Can you count a couple of them? Uh, there are many masterpieces uh, in, in the Italian design history. Uh, if you um, want to focus on uh, furniture design, for example, or, uh, you know, there, there is the Zanotta Sacco. That is uh, something that I really appreciate because it's not design. It's a sort of ready-made. And all this kind of ready-made, uh, to me, is part of the Italian attitude uh, to, to, to design. Find uh, new uh, functions and new identities uh, in uh, everyday objects, like a, a bag uh, full of uh, uh, polystyrolo or, uh, or maybe a lamp that can uh, be part of a, a, a car and so on. So in this case, uh, uh, the example is, to me, is a really well known. I know that it is also in, in, your, uh, in your little uh, exhibition. That's why I mentioned this, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, but, uh, and it's not in, in, the, in your little collection now, but uh, if you talk about uh, heritage and uh, and design, uh, I like to mention uh, 
the, the Battle of Campari Soda, that is a, a really a piece of art, first of all, and then it's a, a pack, a container for uh, uh, the Campari Soda. And I like to mention this because uh, I had the chance to work with Campari many, many years. And I like to, uh, to tell this because uh, people are not used to find uh, this iconic object uh, in the museums, but uh, in the bars. So in everyday life, uh, you are close to a piece of art. And most of, of, ta of the times, people are not aware about uh, the identity of this uh, piece of art. And this is a goal to me for a, a design piece. So to be uh, in our day life and not just uh, in museums. So we are surrounded by that by beauty. Yeah, I mean, we are trying to, we tried to get your uh, bottle, but uh, it's not on the market anymore. So it was really yeah. hard for us. Unfortunately, we don't have it on exhibition. Yes. But what's interesting is that the uh, Campari brand identity is a red color, among other things. But red is very important for them, not only for them, but for many other Italian companies. Uh, can you comment that, you know, how come that uh, red color is so present in Italian design? You know, red is the color of passion, uh, first of all. It's also the color of alert. So it catch attention and it's the color of our blood. So it's really close to our body, inside our body. So we are maybe able to uh, shift the alert into passion. And maybe this is why uh, we have many iconic objects uh, in red. If you mention, uh, for example, Ferrari, it's, it's red, of course. Uh, Campari is red uh, and also other, other Italian icons uh, uh, are red, but the red is not just a color, it's a, a sort of a way of life, you know, it's, uh, it's full of energy. Okay, um, I don't want to take more of your time, so I would like to thank you for, for joining us and uh, hope uh, to meet you once in Zagreb, once the situation gets better and to maybe hear your lecture and see a small exhibition of your items. Hopefully, thanks a lot.